Okay. We are good to go. So I even have fancy slides because I'll walk you through the whole system. If you have any questions, please post them in the chat. I want to make sure that you walk away with knowing exactly what to do. My objective today is twofold, three really, to sell you on the package because it's a really good deal, but that comes later, uh, to, for you to feel inspired. Yes, I can do this. It's doable. It requires a few steps and I'll show you the steps and I'll show you the tools you're going to need and I'll show you the approach. But I want you to feel inspired and I want you to know, okay, I understand what the mission is. Groovy? Janet loves the hat. That's good to hear, Janet. All right. So I'm going to share the screen, which is desktop one. Here you go. And we're going to play this. And now you should be able to see my slide. Yes, can you see? Turning old expires into new listing slide. Are we good? All right, good. So let's get cranking. Let me show you how this is done. The number one reason we are here, guys, please hear me on this, is for you to make more money. You're running a for-profit business. You need a lot of green and you can. Yes, the market has shifted. I understand and we're gonna go over some statistics, but I also have some good news for you. You're running a for-profit business. So let's get you some profit. Let's get you the freedom that you want. You see, it was precisely expired that got me from many years ago, being homeless, totally broke, two years in real estate in Southern California, not knowing anything, not making any money, living in that thing, what you're looking at is 1981 Cadillac DeVille. That was my transportation, my office, my home. I was literally homeless, sleeping in the damn thing. And my broker, Richard, took pity on me and sent me to a seminar where I met a guy named Art Scott who showed me how to do expired listings. And that's how the system was built. And that's how I show you today how I put together an entire system. Art's approach was very simple. He would just pound the phones. I discovered that there is more to than that. You need to expand and we'll talk about it today, all the channels you need to open. All right, so that's what we're gonna talk about. Underneath all of this is freedom. More than just the money, more than just commissions. It's the freedom to have the lifestyle on your terms, to have the things you want, to live the way you want. And our times have changed. I know we are under quarantine many times. We are in this middle of pandemic. The market is crazy, right? I've never seen market this hot. I've never seen 20, 30, 40 offers per property, but that is the reality. So we need to adapt. And in order for you to adapt, it's good to have a system. So what I'm going to show you today, how I put this system together, that's the Xpark Plus. And if you want to get it, you're welcome to go to expireplus.com. It's $347, $399 if you take the payments. It's a good package. It's a good system, but hold off. Wait, let's go through this first, see if this resonates with you and see if the special offer I will have for you makes sense. Now, before I show you the steps, one thing I want to make clear, it does require work. This is not a silver bullet, magic answer, magic pill. There's no magic about it. There is some magic in a psychology, of course. There's some advanced marketing, some good communication that is required and some work. So if you're willing to roll up your sleeves, if you don't just look for shortcuts, if you're willing to put in the effort, then this will work for you. Now, let me show you what I mean when I said there is opportunity. This data came from a data source Probably my favorite data source where we pull information about expired listing called Espresso Agent. If you haven't used Espresso, you might want to check it out. It will get you good leads and good contact information. So watch this. I asked them, can you give me a six months window and tell me how many expired listings there were? Because I hear this a lot. Well, you know, there are no expires. The market has been crazy for the last three years. As the song goes, ain't necessarily so. Look at this. In Atlanta, for our friends, anybody in Atlanta, Georgia? Yes, in 2019, between March and September 2019, 4,901 expired listings. In 2020, it was actually more in a supposedly really hot market. 5467, 5,467 expires. That's a lot of opportunities. Now in my area, 50% of those goes back on the market. I don't know about Atlanta, but maybe you know. But it's gonna be somewhere there. Many of these folks will go back. Now what, Chicago, if you're in Chicago, in 2019, there were 4,086 expires in that six months window, 4,479 in 2020. If you're in Dallas, Texas, our friends in Texas, you, I hope you thought out your, your warm back to normal because you got some expires to take, 3,036 in 2019, 2,832 in 2020. Detroit, 4,911, 2019, 3,104 in 2020. Our friends in Vivas Las Vegas, 
Nevada, 3,542 in 2019, 3,242 in 2020. And finally, Orlando, Florida, for our friends in Florida. Just one example, 1,154 in 2019, 1,112, almost the same in 2020. So there are sellers out there who are not selling. There are people out there who need your help. And you're gonna to see today how you can help them. Now, why am I so passionate about expired listings? Because compared to all these other lead generation methods, expireds are easy to identify. You can literally jump on your MLS or subscribe for something like Espresso Agent if you want to, and you will have leads in a matter of minutes. Now, these are not some hokey, suspect internet leads you buy from some fucking Zillow or Realtor.com or God knows where, which is mostly tire kickers, buyers that will never return your calls, you will never get hold of. These are people at some point who interviewed agent, multiple agents in many cases, signed all the contracts, put a sign up, put the property on the market. Very often they did staging, they did repairs, they did all the steps. And yes, I know many expires expire because they're overpriced, but you know what that sometimes means? The agent didn't know the market, the agent was weak, or the agent was desperate. But many of these folks, just because it didn't sell, doesn't mean their plans just go away. Doesn't mean they change their mind sometimes. But again, here, half of them say, let's try again. Maybe not right away, but through a process you're gonna learn. You're gonna see how you can do it. Cool? Cool. Here is why it matters. According to the National Association, look at this, 6.69 million transactions projected. But where it gets interesting is look at that other number, inventory drop from 3.1 month supplies to 1.9. You know what that means? Listings are golden. The agent who controls the inventory, the agent who takes the best listings, dominates. What you need is a set of skills and systems to be able to do that. And that's what you're learning here. Now, before we get into the system, there are two tools that I recommend you must have and know how to use. One is a contact management system. There's a whole bunch of them out there. The two I recommend, there's actually three. LionDisc, Follow-Up Boss, or Realty Juggler, or good, robust CRMs. The second thing I recommend is get a data provider. This is a subscription service you subscribe to that will feed you new and old expired every day. We actually have a special deal with Espresso. If you go to espressoagent.com slash Borino, we are affiliated with them. They will give you a special deal. And here's the best part. Even though you may not have some brand new expired listings because things are selling so fast, they can go back as far as 12 months and give you old expired listings. Now, if your MLS can go even further, do that. All right, because this is what can happen. This is one of my students, Anna, she's in Georgia. This is the face of a happy agent that just signed a listing contract for a mini farm that was on the market previously for 222 days, brought me by following the teachings of my wonderful coach, Borino, thank you, and Roxy Knight, who is our head coach at Borino Productions. Don't pay Zillow, go Borino. This is the property. It was an old expired listing. Anna followed these steps that you're learning and landed a $591,000 listing. And people were thrilled with her. Because friends, if there's one thing you're gonna learn working the expired listing, very often the property expires because the agent handling that listing was not very competent. Now don't put the other agent down, don't badmouth your colleague, but you're gonna very often hear, we never hear it from the agent, they never did anything for us. It's the same old story. So if you have good approach, if you know how to sell homes, then the fact that you're here tells me you probably already have some experience, some skill to get listings sold. This will help you connect with people who need your help. Groovy? Okay. So let me walk you through the steps. It's not very complicated. Step one, you're gonna pull old expired listings from your multiple listing and or a lead provider like Espresso Agent or Red X or Vulcan and go back as far as you can, six months, 12 months, all good. That's the first step. So you're gonna have a list, you're gonna have a data set. Step two is you're gonna cross check them if necessary to make sure they're not active, pending or sold. You don't wanna bother with listings that have been relisted, so let's say other people's listings, no need to. And if they're pending and sold, obviously not worth going after. Step three, and this is optional. This is something we recently added to the Xpark Plus because it's such a good opportunity. You want to do a skip trace service. You're going to upload these properties for which you do not have the contact information to a skip trace. Now, skip trace is a service. It's a paid service, very often used by private investigators and certain agencies to track people down. This will again return, in many cases, name, email, and cell or other phone numbers. It's not necessary to take this step, but it is recommended because it will expand the reach that you will have so you can reach people 
on the phone, with email, and then of course through other means, I'll show you how in just a moment. Now, once you have the data assembled from your data provider like Espresso, from the Skip Trace service, you're gonna load it all up into a contact management system. You're gonna upload it all into your CMS and then the fun starts. Now, where else can you get this data? Your title company can help you track down owners. There's some skip trace services or some services that do these kind of things is PropStream, CoreLogic Realist, ClearSkip, SkipGene, and there are others. Do your due diligence, okay? These are paid services. They usually run between 12 to 15 cents a record, okay? Everybody groovy? Neil, Mr. Neil Singerman, good to see you. Southern California Rockstar agent has a question. How do you handle an old expired that relisted and your service missed that updated and still shows expired in their system? Sometimes that will happen, Neil, where the property goes back on the market and some of these services will miss it. If you reach them and until we relist it, you say, sorry, it's still showing expired on my end. I wish you best of luck. Hopefully you'll find the good buyer soon. That's it, you move to the next one. Yeah? Okay. Let's take a look at the approach now. So you assemble the list. The first, we're gonna take an active approach. And that means call them if you can. For those that you have a phone number, pick up the quick phone. I'll show you the dialogue in just a moment you're gonna use. Quick call. Some will answer, most of them will not. And it's not because you're doing it wrong or it's broken or anything, but about 90% of the people these days don't pick up the phone. I mean, think about it. Do you pick up the phone when somebody calls you? If you don't recognize the number, if it's not your aunt Edna, Probably not, right? So 10% you will reach on the phone, the rest you will not. But here's the good news. Many agents, if not most, give up at that point. Go to the next one. You will see that there is still tons of opportunities, even if you can get them on the phone. You attempt, if you can, you will. If not, step two. What is step two? You shoot them a quick text. If you have the cell number, text them. Step three, you email them. You do these three, that's why you have it in a contact management system because something like LionDisk, you can automate it, do it very quickly. You have these preset templates that you can just fire off, all right? Then we go to step four. You're gonna grab your expired package and I'll show you what goes in in just a moment. And you go to the next step, which is a short visit, knock on the door. If you did talk to them on the phone, you still go to the visit. There's a slight modification that I'll show you. Then you're gonna bring your expired package, have a little conversation if possible. That is your objective is to get in a conversation with them to see if they still wanna sell, to see what the situation is, to see if they would benefit them selling, okay? After that, they either go through follow-up to an appointment or you drop them to an appointment. Most frequent path will be first contact, visit, follow-up, appointment, or first contact, follow-up, visit, appointment, all right? Hey, Mr. Eben has a question. In New York, we are not able to call, so how would you suggest we make the first contact? Eben, do the best you can with what you have. I know in some areas you cannot call. If you, if you cannot call, what else can you do? And I'll show you, there are other things you can do. So pick the things you can do and just do those because that's better than doing nothing because I can tell you one thing, Eben, you already know that. If you don't do anything, nothing's gonna happen. If you do at least something, there's at least a possibility. Make sense? So that's a very good question. Thanks for asking. So Roseanne, I hope I answered your question. She has a question. Do you have suggestions for states where calling and pop buys are not allowed? Can you mail? Can you email? Can you reach them on social? And I'll show you how to do that. Groovy? So don't give up just because you can't call. There are other things you can do. And I'll tell you one thing. If it's difficult for you, it's difficult for all the other agents. Here's the difference. You, if you're ambitious and if you're focused and persistent, will still get some good leads and some good listings while they won't. Okay? So those are very good questions. So now here is the opener script. If you can get in a conversation with them, this is something very basic. You don't want to be too salesy. You don't want to be scripted. You don't want to be aggressive. So you please say, hey, Jim, it's Borino with ABC Real Estate. I know I'm not the first one calling about your house. You're still getting calls, right? Just real quick, have you guys relisted the house yet? Let them answer. Get in a conversation with that. Now, your house is on the market, what, about eight months ago or so? Prices have gone up quite a bit. If a buyer walks in tomorrow, they fall in love, they have a suitcase full of cash, they're ready to buy it, would you at least consider it? Let them answer. Now, what was the plan? Where did you guys wanna go originally? Oh, Florida, good for you. Have you found the house yet? How soon would you like to be there? I get them in a conversation, yes? Now, most of them will not be. Where have you been? We can't wait to list the property. Thank you very much for your call. Come on down and let's list it right now. 
I mean, if it does happen, that's fantastic. But most of the time, they will be kind of cold and aloof because you're a stranger to them, stranger and worst, a salesperson on the phone. So what I'm looking for is just a little bit of a hesitation, a little bit of an engagement. That's all I need at this point. Going from the call straight for a listing appointment in most cases is not going to happen. So again, give yourself some time and I'll show you, I'll walk you through it. Now, because we are under these very unique circumstances, some sellers will be hesitant. Some sellers will be a little cold or skittish or nervous or not warm to the idea, not open to the idea of selling. So if you get anything other than hell no, even that little hesitation, that like, hmm, I don't know, that's what you're looking for. That's an IOI, that stands for indicator of interest, indicator of interest. That's good enough. So anything other than that, absolutely not, you drop that, even that, I would still follow up. So you simply say, well, you know, of course, everybody wants to be safe. I want you to be safe. I totally understand that. You already know that all listings are selling above asking. The prices have gone up. So there's a lot of demand with a lot less competition. And with the rates this low, who knows how long it's going to last. Just a quick question so I don't waste your time. If a qualified buyer would be a good fit for your home, would it be okay to tell them about your house? And just pay attention. Same thing. You just want that little hesitation. And if they say, yeah, I think that'd be okay. Well, may I, may I contact you if they are interested? I'm just looking for hope, for possibility to open future communication. Because I know other agents are bombarding them. They're hearing all kinds of stories and all kinds of scripts and all kinds of closings. I want to start a relationship, but I also want to see if there is something. Because here is what I know, and the reason the, the old expires are so good. The house didn't sell. Very often the dream, the desire, the plan, or the goal to live somewhere else is still there. And I want to exploit that in a good way. Meanwhile, I will send you an update so you know what's going on in the neighborhood. You see what other homes are selling for, what people are asking for. You'll see what Joneses are asking down on Oak Street. You'll be surprised. So I will set up a follow-up, okay? You can do the same dialogue in person if at all possible. Now, remember this. There is a thing called the mirror principle. And what the mirror principle says is to a surprising degree, people act towards you the way you expect them to. And what that means is your expectations, how people should act towards you, to a great degree, will shape how you're going to experience those conversations. So expect pleasant people, expect pleasant conversations, expect some level of curiosity, even motivation. And if somebody is able to set up an appointment, more power to you. You're doing it well. Because what we're looking for is the law of consistency. These little baby steps, these little yeses lead to a big yes. Because then it's just a Newton's first law of motion. Body in motion tends to remain in motion. That means the little yeses confirm that people will behave in a way they believe is consistent with their past statements about an issue and their past behaviors about an issue. So if they say yes at the beginning, little baby steps, yes, we will talk to you. Yes, we will ask some questions. Yes, you can stop by and drop out some information for us. Yes, we may consider selling in the future. Yes, we'll set up a listing appointment. Now, that may not happen in one conversation, but with patience, it can happen. Everybody clear? All right, so let me show you what the package looks like. This is the Expired Plus package, and you can get a copy if you want comes with the system. There's a brochure specifically written for expired listings. There is a cover letter. There is a quick snapshot. This is from Cloud CMA of what's going on in the area. RPR is still is good. Your MLS is good. You don't want to do a CMA, but you want to give them a quick snapshot of what's going on. And the reason for that is, again, psychological. A lot of what I teach you, a lot of the Expired Plus is not based on selling. It's based on psychology. What I want to rekindle is their curiosity and a sense of hope. Okay? Now we're gonna include the actual MLS printout. And especially if you see errors there or pictures were no good or the description was off or something was not right, that sometimes is a very good conversation starter. Some samples of your marketing, this could be just listed, just sold, this could be open house invitations, anything that you use in your marketing, just to give them something tangible, just to show them. Because what I want is to, for them to go through the package, they look at the postcard and go, oh, look, Martha, our agent didn't do that. Look at that, this is beautiful. I want that for our house. You know what I mean? And then if you're clever, you can include a little salt sign there. But what's important is your intention. And this is the mindset part that plays such a big role in your success because 
I struggled with this for a very long time. For a very long time, I was making fun of the whole mindset and visualize and, and set intentions, you know, airy fairy, new age bullshit, you know, hippie shit. I, I struggled with it. And then you're surprised why I was homeless. You know? So I had to override that mind movie where I wanted to meet people who are pleasant, wanted to meet people who were curious about the market, who were exploring the possibility of selling and who were kind, who were easy to talk to. And the funny thing happened. I started meeting them. I started meeting more people who were nice, who were pleasant, and very often motivated. So how do we do that? Through a very simple technique that is simple, but not easy. And it is the art of conversation. Instead of being scripted and trying to close and using these wooden stiff scripts, you want to have an authentic conversation, a human being to a human being. You're still a high status agent in control. You're still an authority controlling the conversation, but you're not controlling them. You're not manipulating them. You listen and you pay attention. Why is that important? Because it is the easiest way to an appointment. Without conversation, you can't just send an appointment and you can't list a house over a text. Text helps, email helps, all these tools help, and I'll show you how we use them in a system. But it has to be an ascension to the conversation so I can qualify them, so I can build some kind of connection, so I can really see what's best for them. What is it that they're trying to do? Can I help them? Are they realistic? Are they motivated? Are they a good client? Do I want to work with them? Now, occasionally you will get people who are very emotional and angry and irritated. But think about it. I took a different view when it comes to people like them. I'll tell you why. I had a client. This is good so far. Are you guys learning? Are you enjoying it? Good. Yes, good. You guys are enjoying it. Jennifer loves it. Grace says, coach, I never told you I landed in an expired listing using your expired plus system and earned 16,000 plus in commissions. Good for you, Grace. Look at you. For one deal and listing referral. This happened in August 2020. Property was listed with another agent for nearly two years. Holy cow. Got the house under contract in 10 days. Awesome. And yes, I took the expired boot camp. Lots of work, but well worth it. Well, that's awesome. Good job, Grace. I love that. Excellent. So going back to the emotions. I had this, it was one of the first expires I ever encountered. It was this lovely old lady. Well, lovely. First, she wasn't very lovely. This was in Whittier, California. And when I got, when I was calling expired listings, I got her on the phone. I pictured this. She was, she must have been in, in her 70s when, when I called. And she unloaded on me. She was so rude. She really yelled. She ripped it. And, you know, normally if somebody is that angry and that rude, I would just go to the next one. I don't need the aggravation. I don't need to be insulted like that. But her name was Miss Besak. I still remember because she sent me a lovely thank you card later. But at first she was livid. You real estate people, you salespeople, you're a bunch of liars and you're assholes and you ruined my life and all that stuff. But there was something about it, something about her intensity and about the pain and fear I felt underneath those words. So I went to see her in person. Now, if you think she was bad on the phone, she was 10 times worse in person. You have some nerve to come here and knock on my door. I'm going to call police on you, blah, 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 blah. But after she vented all this, after she got it off her chest, we got to talk. And it turned out that moving was really important to her. You see, she had been diagnosed with cancer and she had a short time to live. And she wanted to sell the house, move to Palm Springs. Yes, Palm Springs to her daughter. And because the property didn't sell, she was disappointed and she was scared. So uh, the big lesson, other than, of course, I, I was patiently waiting for her to vent and get over it. And she turned out to be a really nice lady, very easy to work with. I got the property sold. She was very grateful, sent me a lovely thank you card. We kept in touch. I kept sending her thank you um, Christmas cards over the holidays. And she spent, I believe, last two years of her life with the daughter. And she was very appreciative that I was able to help her. And that felt really good, too. But what I learned was when somebody gets that angry, it is because moving and selling still matter to them. Not always, but often. I mean, think about it. If it wasn't important to them, why would they get so worked up over it? You know what I mean? They'd be just like, nah, we don't want to sell. Thanks for calling, which is sometimes how people react. So if you do encounter somebody with these kind of emotions, 
there's a very good chance with some patience and with some skill, some communication skill, you will discover that they still want to sell and it still matters to them. So let me show you how that's done, okay? All right, let's see, share screen and desktop. There you go. All right, so let's continue. So let me show you what's called a diffuser. So somebody does kind of go crazy. First, let the seller get the emotion out. That's step one. Don't try to jump in, don't try to talk too much, don't interrupt, just hear them out. And then you're gonna say, but this is where your skill is important. With a complete sincerity, you're gonna say, I'm sorry, I must have said something to upset you, did I? It's called a diffuser. And then be silent. It may take a few seconds, but you're gonna hear something if you did this right, something like, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm just, we're having a bad day, you know, people keep calling us, kids are at home, we're getting on each other's nerves, whatever you're gonna hear. And then they're yours. They know you understand, they know you appreciate them, okay? Use the diffuser. Some people will say, not right now, that's normal. But what they say at the beginning and what they end up doing, many sellers will end up re-listing. Check your MLS. This is a lesson that cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars and tons of opportunities missed. Right now, if the sellers can wait, it's better for them to wait, they can wait. But remember, if things turn, things turn everywhere and for everybody. So you need to explore with them what's best for them. All right, now here's the good news. Once you've got them locked in in a conversation, it may require some follow-up and I'll walk you through follow-up in just a moment. Most sellers don't contact 10, 15 agents. Majority of the sellers contact two. Isn't that great? As a matter of fact, 72% of the sellers contact only one agent. Not the best agent, not the agent with the biggest budget, the agent that built the most trust, most connection, the agent who they like, trust and respect the most. And having this system in place and following these rules and building some skills, some communication skills, you can be that agent, just like I was with Ms. Besak. There was nothing fancy about my approach other than I let her listen, I deployed some communication skills, I had a little expired package together, nothing fancy, and I stayed with it where everybody else gave up, which is another secret. The money, as they say, and rightly so, isn't a follow-up. It's gonna take you between five and 15 touches to get the most conversions. That's what it takes, five to 15. Here's the good news. You know where most agents give up? By number three. Majority of your competition will be out of the picture by attempt number three. All you have to do is in addition to some skill and having the system in place is having a little more consistency and persistence. Now, with that said, be aware that you're never the only agent. There's always somebody else. So you will have competition. That's why your skills are important. That's why having these tools in place is important. So now let's talk about follow-up. This is a process I teach and I developed called the omnipresence. That means you, you communicate on as many channels as possible. Agents who rely on one, I'm just gonna mail, making a mistake, leaving money on the table. Agents who rely on calling, leaving money on the table. You as a rock star need to incorporate all of them. So that means you call, you send emails if you can, you visit them if possible, you send them a mail, you text them, you use social media, you can look them up on Facebook, you can look them up on LinkedIn, on Instagram, you direct message them if possible, and you send them videos. This is what it's required. The lead generation and the follow-up has become fragmented. Back in the good old days, you know, when I was starting in real estate, it was phone and mail. Look at us now. But it also means a lot more opportunities to connect with more people, to make more money, help more people, and be more efficient. That's where the money is. That's how you diversify. That's why having a good contact management system, where a lot of this can be automated, is so helpful. But here's another secret. Please write this down. Go back. So you drive to the property, you leave the expired package, nobody's home. Do you think most agents will do even that? Most agents won't. That's what makes you a rock star. That's what helps you stand out. But here's the thing. If they're not there, go back. If it's possible, go revisit. Now, best windows for me in my demographic was Saturday mornings, Saturday late afternoons, and Sunday late afternoons. So the expireds I couldn't reach during the week, I would try, but if I didn't reach them, I would load a few more expired packages and go back on the weekend. But here's the absolutely the most important one. If you just forget everything we talked about, please don't remember it. But if you did, remember this one, do it. 
because you will see that there are people out there who need your help. There are people out there who will be listing properties and there are people out there who need a good agent. So the question you need to keep asking yourself, what is the best I can do right now? What's the best I can do right now? There are opportunities all around you. There are hundreds of listings that will be coming on the market, especially now as we enter into the spring market. And you can be like, Maria, I dared to call an expired yesterday and received a call for an appointment today at 2 p.m. Just got a call back that the listing is mine. I never thought I could. If it was not for Mr. Borino's coaching, thank you. Isn't that cool? No experience. And if Maria can do it, why not you? Now, you can take it a step further. You can be like these two rock stars. Look at Chris, look at that. Luke and Krista are in Michigan. So these guys studied the program, same one as you do, the Xpark Plus, got 12 listings in January in Michigan. You know what I mean? So if in freezing Michigan, where they say nobody's listing homes, these guys got listings, why not you? Ah, excuse me. So here's the secret, this is a system. You can get it if you want. It's uh, $347 or you can break it up into two payments that, that is like two payments of $199. But I decided I wanna do something special. You're here, you're learning this. So we put together a special package. I have a program called The Path, The Path Coaching, where we get together weekly and we work on your mindset. We work on your confident communication. We work on your time, your schedule, your lead generation systems, we work on your expireds, FISBOs, open house referrals, online lead generation, all of these. We work on your automated follow-up because as your leads grow, you're gonna have to stay organized. You have to stay on top of them. That's where the money is. And then of course, powerful listing presentation and expansion. This is an ongoing program where we build you lead funnels, good motivated leads like you just saw, I'll help you build it. Roxy, my head coach, helps you build it. And of course, the support from all other fellow students. So you're gonna have expired funnel, physical funnel, fire funnel, open house funnel, and others. And we build the three moving parts to real estate. How do I get good leads? How do I turn those leads to follow up into appointments? And how do I get listings? Because that's where the money is. We're not gonna to waste too much time with buyers, but you will know where do I find the seller leads? Just like I walked you through a system now. How do I approach them? How do I build trust and connection with them? Because at the end, no matter how hot or cold the market is, how much buyer or seller market it is, it always comes down to they, they must like you, they must trust you, they must respect you, they must see you as their best choice, as the authority who can help them. How to go from first contact through follow-up to a listing contract. And this is a hands-on coaching. That means I will show you, please don't do this. Do this instead, because not only I tried it, but now thousands of my students are doing the same thing each part of the system will be broken down. Big part of what you guys like and what we all need is accountability. So there's planning, there's accountability. We have a Monday morning huddle where we get together. Some of you, Derek, right? You're my student, you go on huddles. We have weekly live reviews. We have direct support. There are clinics every Friday. We do either role play clinic, we do confident communication clinic, we do expired clinic, physical clinic, whatever help you need with, or we do what I call real estate 911 helpline, where I just open my phone line and you and I get to talk. All of my systems are included. Now, instead of sending you just one giant box, which people just got overwhelmed and never used, we piece it up. Every month, one week to study, three weeks to implement. So you're not only absorbing the information, but you're applying it. So you're gonna get the presentation plus, the core influence, open house plus, gravity plus, mind matrix plus, expired plus, Fisborino, listing university membership, video plus, referral plus, all of that is included. That's a $3,000 package that's all included with the path as you go through it. But as they say, wait, <laughs> there is more. This is the package we put together today for you. I want you to start doing all the expires. And once the market turns, there'll be new expires as well. There'll be a lot of opportunities. So once you have the system in place, you simply use it. So you can get the new Expire Plus, that's a 397. The Path and the Money Mindset book, that's an actual book right here. The membership to the Listing University and a program I uh, put together for myself called the Mind Matrix Plus, which Remember I said I struggled with the mindset. This is the program that changed it. I started overriding a lot of those embedded core beliefs I had, the limiting beliefs I had about money, success, wealth, and how good of a real estate agent I should be to make all kinds of money. This is the welcome package. This package, hot price, we have to have at least one flame effect. $1,905 is all included as part of your welcome if you join the path. So you're gonna get the first chapter immediately, 
the first welcome package immediately, a new chapter every 30 days, there'll be live coaching and Q and A's. Then our long-term contracts, you can stay for short-term, long-term, it's up to you. Stay as long as you want. It's only $197. That's the whole deal, really good deal. So if you want to have a physical system, a referral system, a system, we have a set of tools, plus you know exactly how to use them. Expired system, online lead generation, follow-up system, even a real estate video system and a listing presentation system. I will help you. And that's all $6.57 per day. I spend more in Starbucks on that. So go to goborino.com slash expired. You can choose. You can either get just the expired plus or you can get the entire welcome package. I'm here to help. All right. Let's take a look at your questions. If there are any, there you go. That's a good package, right? All right. So we answered Niels. Oh, Reese likes it. Derek, excellent. Yes, Derek is already a veteran path student, crushing it. Okay. So the URL, yeah, I just posted in a comment, goborin.com slash expired. So here's what I want you to work on next. Come on board first. I would really like to help you and implement this because I'm just as guilty. I still have a program on my shelf. That was like a $2,500 coaching program. Really good, really good content. It's still wrapped and a shrink wrap. I never even opened it. So the difference is implementation because imperfect action beats need or desire for perfection any day. That means you may not know all the scripts and dialogues perfectly. You may not have a perfect expired package. You may not have a perfect letter. You may not have any of those things. But if you just take the steps, if you just say, okay, I'm just gonna do my best today. This is the best I can do today. Pick up the phone, have a few conversations. Fire off a few texts, send a couple of emails, go knock on a couple of doors. What you will discover is that with the right intention, being able to listen, ask better questions and listen, let them do most of the talking, you will discover that these scary sellers, these rude expireds are just people, people who deal with the daily problems like you and I, people who are nervous about making the wrong decision, hiring the wrong agent, because especially if they get burned before, it's difficult. It's the challenge. And if you come in just from contribution, offering some advice, some guidance, some just listening and trying to figure out what's the best for them, not what's best for you, but what's best for them because people will do it on their terms based on what they wanna do. You'll discover there are pleasant people. Some will be ready now, some will be later either. Some will be more open to conversation than others and some will take a little, longer to chip away the defenses that they built as a result very often from just protecting themselves. You should see some of the stuff other agents say. You should hear some of those scripts they use and closes. It's pretty bad. So don't do that. You don't need to. On contrary, I think that approach no longer works. I don't know if it any work, it ever worked, but it sure doesn't work now. These consumers are more sophisticated. They're also a little more hesitant and they pay very close attention to who they will give their time, attention, and then later business to. And it can be you. If you work on this with a little practice and building some of these tools and getting some of the answers, and there's a whole bunch of them right here, you can be one of those agents and I can help you. This is my strength. They don't call me expired guru for being okay with expired. So there are two parts to what I need to do well. I need to, of course, understand how to convert expires and how to do all this, that's number one. But I also need to be able to take someone who's never done expires or is a little nervous doing it or feels uncomfortable, doesn't know how to do it and teach them. And that's a completely different set of skills. So if you are curious or if you see an opportunity right now as we're entering the spring market, this can be it. Go to goborino.com slash expired. Check out the package. It's a really nice package, very inexpensive. And why not get help if you can get it? Why not take a shortcut if it's available? I mean, yes, you can come up with all this yourself. I did. With a lot of trial and errors, it takes about two years. Testing, experimenting, using it, and then seeing what works, what doesn't. So might as well be ready now. All right, any more questions? Before we say goodbye, Claire would like to know, do we get a copy of today's recording? Absolutely. Yeah, send me an email, borino at expireplus.com. I'll be happy to send it to you. Totally. And of course, 
all of these recordings, we have over a hundred of them are part of the listing university, which you will get a membership to. And one of the sessions that is becoming quickly, understandably very popular, is I did a training session where I give you 10 sources of off-market listings. How to find properties that are not currently listed. So especially if you have a seller, let's say you have an expired listing, who says, we wanna sell, we need a bigger house. We're stepping on each other's toes, we hate it here. We're stuck with the kids and it looks like for time being, it's gonna be like that. We need a bigger house, but where do we find it? We don't mind selling, but help us find another property. That's where this comes in. There are 10 separate strategies I break down for you. How to find these homes, how to find homes that are not currently listed and how we can help those sellers. So that's all in the Listing University as a special bonus. You're gonna get access to it. And plus hundred other sessions, a whole bunch from lead generation to follow up, to work in your sphere, to being a digital mayor, to work in buyers, getting your offers accepted. All of that is part of the Listing University. All right, Tim really liked it. Thank you, my good. Good, sir, great presentation, Borino, love it. All right, good, appreciate it, excellent. Glad you guys liked it. Okay. I'm just going through your comments and questions. All right. Very good, all of them answered. Go to goborino.com slash expired, check out the offer, and I'll talk to you real soon. Hope this was helpful. Here's what I want you to do next. If you take action today, you have a good chance of finding people who maybe now, maybe later need your help. The longer you procrastinate, the faster your chances of succeeding will diminish. Now you have this sense of momentum. Now you have this sense of possibility and hope. And even though it's a little scary, especially if you haven't done expireds, I totally understand that. But if you just can't get through it, and if you just say, well, what's the worst that can happen? I'm just gonna have a conversation with somebody, maybe on the phone, maybe in person, maybe over text. And let's just see where it goes. You're much better off because you're taking steps. You're moving forward to your goals. You're helping people. And you cannot cry and complain. There are no listings. Of course there are. They're a little harder to get. They require a little more persistence. They require a little more sophisticated systems and tools and better skills, but they are out there as you just saw and you can have some of them. Okay, goborino.com slash expired is the URL. Come on board. I look forward to working with you. My name is Borino. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope this inspired you, I helped you. If there's anything I can do, post it in comments, reach out, let me know. As I always sign off, let's go get them. Bye everybody.